Hello y'all. Welcome to part 4 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 3 we conquered Spain in the Re Reconquista and now we're getting ready to take on the Commune of France and their allies by completing the focus return to our homeland. And Rene Gunan's Morocco is called the Esoteric Realm of the True France so just in case what you're, if you're wondering what return to our homeland means, that refers, it has to do with that. And we have some military factories. We gotta actually, let's assign a few factories to do some things. We gotta build some more military factories, build tons of those, probably in Spain, which we have cores on. We have cores on every state in the world. We're pretty powerful national spirit and military wise. We have over a million manpower. Get some more divisions here, send them off to the fourth army. That's not really doing anything. Also, let's stop patrolling our navy and just kind of maybe keep a close eye on the port at home and the riff. Besides that, we have some res a research slot available. Let's research maybe, let's get improved infantry equipment one. That's done, free military factories. Let's start manufacturing some artillery, some trains maybe. Get some, we don't have artillery research at this time. Let's make some planes, I guess, and maybe put more factories on guns. We do need to get artillery at some point. I would like to do that. We also need some more ships in production. We had destroyers. I think, but we can't really do anything with them. Can we create a variant? I'm not sure. We have, I don't know, we have some kind of political, not political, but we have a, we have naval experience to do all this stuff, but we just need more, how to say, we need, what's wrong here? We need a battery. Where's the battery at? Battery, battery, battery. Engine, we have an engine. What? Oh, we need to put a battery down on the, on the ship. Okay, that's good. Now I can start making some destroyers. I may need to eventually redo that template, but, well, that ship design. Let me go back to that, actually. I don't want to spend too long doing this, but I would like to have my ships to be nice. Change this variant a little bit. Create a variant. Mark 1. Let's add some anti-air. Add a fire control 0. No module selection there. Torpedo launcher. That's done. And now we have the improved light ship hull Mark II. So start making tons of those with our naval dockyards. Put 23, we have 23 naval dockyards in total. I think we had eight dockyards making destroyers, but our Navy right now is not gonna re really be doing anything for this conflict with France that's coming up. We're just gonna have them just kinda defend our port because honestly, if we deploy five ships to fight against the entire Navy of the Third International Faction, the faction the Commune of France leads, we would get destroyed, and the Kingdom of New England is fighting Canada, apparently, in North America. See, the Third International Faction, tons of countries are in it. Five countries, Malta, Norway, France, the Socialist, the Socialist Republic of Italy, and the United Britain. So that's why I'm not going to risk my navy, trying to fight all those countries, navy, navies at one time. And I can't believe New England is fighting Canada. There's just a lot of chaos right now in the United States. A lot of anarchy. There's a civil war going on there. It doesn't look too good for the, what is it, the Western Command Center, I think it's called. They're getting destroyed by the American Union State and the Pacific States of America in that part of the world. More divisions are ready. This is cavalry. Put this unit in the 4th Army. Give the 4th Army the color of maybe yellow. We're now at war with the Union of Commune of France. Get these guys pink, maybe, whatever. The fall of Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro is having a civil war. Whatever. We're fighting the Commune of France now and their friends. Begin our advance up into France through the Pyrenees region of Spain, well, Spain and France, the French-Spanish border. And the thing about the esoteric realm of true France is that we have some pretty good national spirits, a decent national spirit called the New France, and that gives us an attack bonus on both French, both the French national state and the commune of France. The French national state, if you're not aware, is the France in Africa. So we're going to be the, we, we, there can only be one France, is what I'm trying to say. We're going to be the one France of the world, and we're fighting against all the other Frances and we hope to win very soon against the commune here. Push up toward Bordeaux. Our units move relatively fast, so let's have these orders be executed as aggressively as possible. That'd be good. Keep pushing, please. Just advance as hard as you can. Once those front lines are more unified, we'll just send in the entire first army group, with the exception of the third Moroccan army, who's doing garrison duty. And then we'll just push even more into France. And then we'll maybe have to try and do naval invasions for for Britain and for the 
Socialist Republic of Italy. We'll see. I may have to get a naval invasion technology. I'm not sure. We are pushing, though. We have surrounded an enemy division here. Our front lines have unified. Let's surround this enemy division here and then try to... Once we destroy these units here, they're going to get encircled. There we go. Some divisions of the Commune of France are gone. Let's make one unified front line in a second here. Once this encirclement's over with. Near Pole, the Mysore state is now fighting the princely federation in the Indian subcontinent. Let's get all of the armies of Marshal René Gounon and send them up here to near Bordeaux and just at Toulouse and just push into southern and central France and then eventually make our way to Paris. So there we go. Activate that order and have that battle order be aggressively executed just so we can get it done. We may need to eventually have tanks be produced for Morocco. Our army right now is just infantry at this time and that's what we're going to have to do. We don't even have artillery tech at this moment, so that's a problem, but we will try to fix that in the future. Here's some more cavalry. They're going to go to the garrison force, which is the third army of our country. Push, please. All of our divisions are advancing. Use the force attack order. I may have to get a fourth army. Now, a fifth army set up. I may do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a fifth army set up for the esoteric realm of true France. Get a new commander. I need more command power. I do need that. Austrian Empire is declaring war in Austria. Didn't Austria already have a civil war in this playthrough? I don't know what's going on there. Socialist versus national populist. I have no clue what's going on there at this point. I'm just confused. Okay, to fall of Vienna, that's occurred. And, oh well. We're just pushing into... Pushing into France. Now we've taken Bordeaux. We need to make our way toward... Toward Paris at some point. So Vienna is fighting Austria. That's going on. And let's keep fighting here keep pushing just break out of here and just get make our way out of southern France let's also have the garrison force we have set up a area defense in the ports we've captured so we don't get naval invasions from the middle of nowhere well from out of nowhere I mean Austria lost the Civil War well the Austrian Empire did and that was the I think they were Social Democrats so the national populace beat them and Slovenia is probably gonna get destroyed by the Austro-Hungarian Empire we have free military factories. Let's get more guns made, probably also some more trains. No one can trade with us, I think. No one is willing to do so. Actually, maybe they are. I don't know. Let's get some rubber from Flanders Wallonia and some, what is this, aluminum. Can anyone give us aluminum? The Hunan clique has plenty of it. Thank you for the trade. Good deal. And we have a naval invasion going on in the Bel Air Islands. It's sort of going well for the Third International and the Russian Democratic Federative Republic is fine. The Islamic Federation of Turkestan. That's happening. Okay. And I think someone just had a peace treaty there. We lost a few divisions for the Third Army. Oh well. At least the Bel Air Islands aren't that strategically important for us. We can just recover that later. Or maybe just forget they even exist, honestly. Because we shouldn't have to worry too much about enemy troops attacking us too badly. We need more units for the Third Army. Just give, the, give all these units to the to the third army the belgrade pact is fighting bulgaria that's going on in the balkans and the belgrade pact i think consists of romania romania Bel serbia and the hellenic republic which is greece are we even guarding the rift we should be are we not oh, i think i forgot to guard the rift didn't i good job guys guard everything just garrison everything that's all you got to do garrison every part of the world we control that's all i want from you just garrison everything. Keep pushing into southern France. And we are making some ground there. Desardum is restored in Transamir. Okay. Do we have more divisions available? Yes. Give more divisions over to the Third Army. The Bel Air Islands are still holding out for now. I don't think the... They may have a port. I don't know. We lost some convoys, unfortunately. The Third Army is taking a beating from naval attacks in the Mediterranean. We're just trying to build up our navy right now. Where are those ships even being deployed to we have? We have... Okay. I don't know. We don't have enough ships to be... We can make it this time. We're still pushing into France. Our troops are trying to make our way there. And we are having some, I guess... We're making progress. We're having some issues. And how is... What is it? How is the... Okay, we got some research done there. Let's start researching, maybe. Let's go to naval tech. Do we have naval invasion technology already done? I want to have that just so we can... Ha okay, good. We can... We have transport ships already researched. Let's go ahead and research close air support one. We just started with basic fighters. 
And obviously we need close air support to help give our, give our army more of an edge. And there's a war in the, well, in Oceania. No, not Oceania, but Insulinia and Indonesia. They're fine. The Dutch West Indies, I think. No, Dutch East Indies. And Insulindian, Insulindian National Revolution is going down. Give more divisions over to the Third Army. Continue our drive into France. And we'll make our way to maybe La Rochelle soon. Give more divisions to the Third Army. Actually, no, let's go ahead and that Fourth Army again, that Fifth Army that we disbanded. We have a commander now we can have, Rise of the Vaz. I think I'm seeing some of these events over and over again. That could just be me. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know. The Shanzi Click declared war on the Qing Imperial Authority. Okay. And let's give the Fifth Army their own color. Give them yellow. That works. And we're going to continue our push into France to follow Boston, I think. New England, who fought against Canada. Oh, no, they're actually getting hit by the French national state. Liberia declared war on the French national state. And they are going to try and push into the, well, French West Africa, basically, what they control in West Africa. Liberia is making some gains quick. Wow. What, ide what ideology is Liberia? They are radical socialists. Okay. And they are fighting the Entente faction. Panama and... Canada signed a peace treaty. Our convoys are constantly getting attacked by the Third International. Whatever. We're still trying to push. And I think the summer revolt in the southern United States was stopped. How's our advance going? We're running into more issues. Yes, we don't have enough units for, like, say... I think we're having supply problems, really. And we also are fighting tanks constantly. So that is an issue. We need more iron. More steel, what am I saying? More steel. Give us more steel, please, Flanders, Wallonia. You're our, you're our best trading partner at this point. We need more steel. One more. A couple more civilian factories for that. Thank you. And we have some divisions here that will go to the 5th Army. Our troops are still holding on the Bel Air Islands. Bel Air's... Bel Air Islands? The British... What a Union of Britain sent some garrison divisions to try and kick us out. It's not going very well. Can we destroy these divisions, maybe? Are they surrounded? They can't really get off the place they're at. We'll try to take them out. Keep one division here. Use force attack. I may have may have been a better use to use that for a different division, but whatever. Different army. But whatever. Let's get some dive, dive bombing research done in our army. I mean, our air force doctrine, part of our tree. And we have some convoys under attack from some British submarines. Panama declares war on Costa Rica and Central America. There is a lot of war right now. I'm not going to lie. We're still pushing. We made some gains near... Montepillar, Monte, whatever it's called. Keep pushing, though. Get some more territory under our control. Hold this province, please. And break out of here. Take everything we can for the esoteric realm of the true France. Take Nimes and Marcel. We can maybe... I don't know. We were going to try and encircle those divisions there. But I don't think it's going to work out. Can we keep pushing? That's all we got to do, guys. Just push. Just don't stop pushing for Rene Gunan's Morocco. At least we're resisting, we are resisting these naval invasions pretty well. The Third International is hitting us with the British Navy as being the biggest issue here. They keep sending submarines to try and take us out, try to take out our convoys, but they're not succeeding too much. And we also drove off that naval invasion in the Bellark Island, so that's good. They do, in fact, control this port here, though, which could be a problem, but I'm not too worried about it. And we have some unassigned divisions, give them to the Fifth Army. And we'll send the 5th Army over to Morocco, I mean to Spain, once they're ready to go, once they have a full 24 divisions. We have a Naval Doctrine research we can do now. Let's get Trable Interdiction. That's going to be done. Research slot available. We have to be very careful here. What can we get? Let's get Electron and Mechanical Engineering. We are still part of the Kaiser Wilhelm Society somehow, so we have a discount on some tech we haven't researched yet, which is good. That will help us out in our that will help us out in our conflict with the syndicalist and the socialist of the Third International. And there's a naval invasion going on in Spain. We may be able to resist it. I don't know. And I think what happened here? Somebody lost a war. Or no, what happened? Yes, yeah, Serbia got. I think they got the Belgrade Pact got demolished. Romania. Okay, Romania did not join the Belgrade Pact. I think actually that was just Serbia and Greece. Greece got made into a puppet of Austria, and Illyria completely absorbed Serbia, I think, and Bulgaria got some land for their efforts, I suppose. Or did they already have that? I don't know. But Serbia is gone as a country now in this world, and the Illyrian Interim Republic declared war on Austria. Illyria declared war on Austria, all that stuff. 
We have a naval invasion that's landed in Spain. Send the fourth, the fifth army up there to deal with that. And let's start deploying the forces. Okay, never mind. The Bhattaraya Commune declared war on the Princely Federation. That's going on in India. Let's keep sending more troops of the fifth army to go stop this naval invasion in the state of Old Castile. Old Castile, yeah. And the the British troops there should not have any sort of real supplies because they don't control any ports, I think, which is good for us. And I think I'm going to end part four of my Rene Gonan Morocco playthrough and Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. Have an awesome day.